everyone it's me Wako. welcome back to my channel it's been three weeks since i have uploaded my last video i'm sorry about that i was very ex tired exhausted i'm still am um i'm not as hyper as i usually am so anyways i wanted to make today video today's video a little bit more special because i wanted to talk about crochet so i started making crochet i think it was last year um, I had to stop several like months because you know it was very overwhelming at, at the first but yeah I'm just wanted to show you things that I have made so far I don't remember which was the first item <laughs> because uh, I really started and um, finished um, st and <laughs> start over so many projects um, yeah a lot of things at once I also have projects in like in progress so um, I can show you that and I also have things that I have made so far I don't know if I should make a video about that or if I should wait at the end of the year um, but yeah and one of the things that I made it's this so I wanted to at the time I did not have the tension tool the tension ring so I saw a video about it like how do you, how you, can you make one out of yarn and it did work actually it's just that uh you need to start from zero like a project because you need to pass the yarn through here so if you already have a project that you're working on you cannot pass the thread over here so i haven't used it uh that much um Another thing that I made is this flower. I'm going with the things that I see around my desk. <laughs> I've been also learning about yarns, need uh, the hooks, fabrics and stuff like that. This is the fabric from Michael's. The wool, um, it is acrylic but it's supposed to mimic like wool forgot the name so I was trying to make an accessory because I want to make a uh, muddy girl like hairstyle videos I have more tools now so yeah uh, when I made this I made it with the uh, sugar and cream sugar sugar and cream <laughs> cotton and ironically I was going to I was thinking about this most people start with a dishcloth and um, that's the thing that I haven't done <laughs> at all at the moment. I want to, but like there's so many designs and I get so like picky uh, on what to use my materials because I don't want to waste them, but I, I also want to create. So that thing kind of eats me. Uh, <laughs> so one item that I did finish watching a video, I don't remember the video, but it's this. People like my hat yeah this was one of the first projects that I made so the hat it was only like the hat just plain I just added the laces the lace trims I added the flower the leaf and the cat ears <laughs> yeah so the tutorial oh I did not <laughs> didn't know uh, didn't do the the weaving. <laughs> um, I did have did have or have a lot of projects like that, but other than that, there is finished. So I want to make this again, <laughs> but with cotton because this is acrylic. This is from Impeccable Yarn from Michaels. I think most of my acrylics are from there. Um, so I want something like like this for the garden. But yeah, I was very happy when I made it. Um, the video had a lot of pulses, so it took me a while to understand. But now I have like Japanese pattern that I can follow. I just need um, a little bit of time of understanding which yarn goes with which patterns, and you know all of the hook sizes that are that go with the Japanese pattern, stuff like that. I'm still confused because I don't have a lot of people that know crochet like professional. So, yeah, um, I also made this with acrylic, oops, 
this is a headband so I wasn't very happy with this headband because it was a lot more tighter than I expected like I cannot have anything like too tight on my head and I also didn't like it because I don't know it was too plain at that time I didn't have like beads or anything like that so I think I'm going to like maybe sell it um, because it's already done I tried to make this in cotton uh, with the sugar and cream with the rainbow cotton but I didn't like how the colors look it wasn't that pastel it was a little bit I don't know a little bit too much so yeah but it is a little bit tight on my head but it still um, fits me oops have it <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to try it on everything that I have made because I'm going to like look like a mess but yeah I just cannot stand anything tight I don't know why I even made it <laughs> I need anything that I can adjust on the back um yeah um another thing that I made it was for my boyfriend it was a like this bag I also used sugar sun cream cotton it was my first, actually my, yeah, my first bag. So with a pocket. Um, this part over here, I kind of like guess it. I don't know, it, maybe it's not as strong as it's supposed to be. Um, so he is hanging this on his desk. Because he needs some space for his controllers and stuff like that. At first I was going to do, to add a flower over here, but he didn't want it. <laughs> So um, yeah, he just wanted it plain like this. So yeah, this was my the first time that I used the sugar, sugar sun cream. I hope that's the name because I forgot. Um, cotton. And I also like since he didn't want it to wanted me to use the flower, I used the flower for <laughs> for this. So this is my hat for the garden. Um, I made a video about this so I use I make this also with um, sugar sun cream so <laughs> so since he didn't want to use the flower I put it on that <laughs> I have tried many ways to make flowers and I have undo and do and undo so I don't have like more proof of them except for this uh, another thing that I made oh is this pin it is the only pin that I have made so far um, it's supposed to be an acorn um, <laughs> supposed to be um, this is worsted so I guess the worsted doesn't look that great or I just did not do the acorn very well um yeah it's still a little bit loose on the back because i'm just not used to so many techniques so um it's been a huge learning curve so something that at least i feel proud of uh well i was proud of the hat but <laughs> this this was following um a japanese pattern so um, Japanese patterns tend to be very very small and even though this is just a shawl I found that the original pattern was very tiny and I am not that huge I'm size like large but when I made this first the pattern it kind of looked like up to here or something like that I added like 10 rows or something it was very very short but on the photo like she had it up to here because I was trying to make it look similar to her so yeah I use hobbies um buttons so this is the first time that I use uh completely I think yeah I, I, don't, I don't remember but um yeah I made this and I was very very happy It's comfortable, but this acrylic, honestly, I kind of regret getting so many acrylics because I live in Florida and this place gets hot. 
So yeah, this is the bag. I was going to make a tutorial of this. I think I can do it now since it's just a rectangular. It's just that I have like questions on this because I kind of like did it um, kind of guessing and I didn't want it. I wanted to learn first what I'm doing so I can teach properly others. Like, you know, I don't want to teach people how to do things wrong. So yeah, and actually the first, oh, this is another one. This I had to sell because I cannot undo it. I made this beanie also with a Japanese pattern. It's very cute. <laughs> I did not finish it off because I noticed that it was small on me. So So it's my head is just like regular size but it's a bit tight and I try to use wool which is what they use but still um, it's tight on me so I, I don't know how to increase um, this unless I guess I should use the next hook I guess but I would not know how it would look like at the end so I use Hobie yarn for this I really like the design it was very cool it was the first item that I made with a very very thin yarn um, I, uh, most of the Japanese pattern use thin yarn and I really like how they look better than the thick ones but they're tricky <laughs> so I made that but I think I, like I said I have to sell it because I try to unravel it Oof it's impossible and i don't know <laughs> um this i think it was actually my first project before doing the headband and no yeah i think this was one of the first ones actually that i did and it actually was you needed to use a thinner yarn it's a jacket um like a cardigan I was supposed to be using like a number one or two yarn and I used worsted so yeah it did not turn out how it was supposed to so it's like it's supposed to work like two ways but the other way doesn't look very well so it's, it's kind of like this I added these two straps because it's big and it, it kind of falls on me but I have used it and I like it, even though it did not look 100% as the original. I need to change also the buttons because these buttons are still too small for this. This is supposed to go over here, but they get undone very easily. So you're supposed to use it like that, or as a poncho. But the poncho part doesn't look very well because this fabric is like too thick and it looks like a little bit like a <laughs> big coat on you. Well, yeah, I really like the pattern of this. I had to do a lot of those, um, like stars thingy. I would like to make this again, but with the correct, um, the correct yarn. This was worth it. Um, another thing that I made that I kind of like and I did not like a lot was this necklace for my cat, which she hated. So I used a very thin yarn and a very thick yarn. I just did not have like pastel thin yarns like this. So this is wool, but this is cotton and this is a lot more heavier than this. So when she is wearing this, it goes like point. <laughs> and I added this at the end, um, some petals. So yeah, it's the first item that I have made for my cat. Um, yeah, I thought about even wearing it myself because you know, you would not, nobody will ever know, basically. <laughs> so I wasn't, I was thinking if I should just remove the 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 cotton um, flowers and do it in wool so that everything looks a little bit more cohesive 
like everything looks like it's made out of the same yarn because this one is this one that I use in the back it's fluffy but these two are too thick these are the the Egyptian cotton so yeah <laughs> so another thing that I made oh this is done and work in progress <laughs> So I made my first skirt So the skirt wasn't supposed to have roses I just wanted to add those details um, the best I could This was supposed to be like a beige kind of cover You see I still have some with the pin I was learning how to weave motifs So that's why it stayed like this um, the, this is the second the second try when I made this skirt at first I tried to do first the bottom but then since this is acrylic it started to stretch so then it was very huge on me like double so then I read that you could start making the waist first so it's firmer and then you do the bottom so that's what I did this time of course I also think I removed some centimeters but yeah and it's still just a little bit a little bit loose just because it's heavy but i like it i haven't worn it outside or anything like that because i wanted to add the flowers um yeah <laughs> i don't know if i should like <laughs> put it on or anything like that i'm wearing my pajamas so i say work in progress yeah because of the flowers are still <laughs> you see, like, if I don't adjust this, it's going to come down on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is what I have to do. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see, but... Other than that, it fits me. <laughs> I have to stretch a lot, but yeah. I haven't really styled with anything. I would like to make my other a new skirt, but there's so many things that I still need to know. Um, I don't know how to modify patterns, so at the moment. So that is the skirt, and two more things. <laughs> I made this, actually I don't think I made this last year, I think I made this this year So um, I think I'm cheating over here, so I, this is supposed to be a mushroom So I bought a lot of super chunky yarn without thinking, you know, typical stuff um, And then I decided to make this um, Yeah, I really like the colors, this is very cute, I added this um, I had to use my oatmeal box <laughs> because uh, it is flimsy so this is the first time that I ever work with chunk, super chunky yarn so if I don't use anything it's like this which is not bad small mushroom but when you put stuff it stretches like this and then it looks like poop <laughs> But other than that, I, I like how soft it is and chunky um, But yeah, I've been using my oatmeal box just to make it a little bit more stable I haven't blow it down because I don't, I don't know if I should do that And the last item, which what, it took me a while to make Oops, it's my boyfriend's um, cardigan so again I have other more projects that I did start last year but I'm just showing you what I start and finish there are some that I have to redo some parts um, so there's more <laughs> so this is my boyfriend's cardigan I'm actually making my own at the moment so this is 5XL so, and of 
course, it's huge on me. Uh, so, yeah. So he really liked it. It fits him perfectly. I mean, it's still oversized for him, but he's big. <laughs> so yeah, I'm making mine XL. Even XL is large on me, but I thought that it was a perfect size for me. Um, now it's gonna be over a little bit oversized. So I'm making this same jacket for myself. And the only thing that I'm changing of colors is the ribbon, which is what I'm doing right now. It takes forever. I only need to add the sleeves. Yeah, finish the ribbon, add the sleeves with the ribbons, and I'm done. Um, add the pockets because he didn't want the pockets, so I'm going to add them to mine because I they have the same color. I had more yarn left over from his project, so I decided to get more just to do mine, so we can have like a uh, couple cardigans <laughs> but yeah i have like i said other projects that i did started last year but i think i should make a video a separated video of explaining what happened why did i mess it up stuff like that so this is what i think i start and finish last year there's possibly possibly a lot more small items but i don't remember if i just start over or something like that i just have started way too many projects <laughs> so yeah uh i hope you liked today's video i hope you like to see more of my progress i hope i can make a video in the future of a tutorial or something like that i'm still learning the terminologies and how to describe what i'm doing um and i already have to set up because i can't I take uh i can film upside down so that's good so <laughs> yeah um <laughs> thank you again guys for watching i hope you like it oh by the way i'm going to be having a very big haul from timu timu no oh sorry hobby very very soon i spent like more than 400 so it's going to be a lot of yarn so i hope you like that video um yeah i hope you are ready for more crochet type of topics <laughs> so you can get inspired as well so this time thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time take care bye bye